Hi, Mike Kennedy with you today and I'm all excited I got some malt powder. You know, there's a there's a, a brewing supply store in Portland by me and it's just, it hasn't been open the times that I've been in Portland. It's not open on Mondays or Tuesdays and during the rest of the week it's open later in the day when I just don't, times I don't happen to be in there. So I decided just to send for some malt powder through the mail. Okay, so what we've got here is diastatic malt powder. This is distributed by Berry Farms, berryfarms.com. You can see there, this was, I got this off eBay. And what you get with this, which is neat, is I understood there to be a recipe for, uh, Oh, what have we got here? Peach cranberry oatmeal cookies. Okay, there's a recipe that you get with it. Okay, I'm primarily going to use it for, uh, it's one of your main, in, it's a taste ingredient in uh, both uh, pretzels and bagels. And my big goal here lately is to do, uh, one of the things I want to be making is sourdough bagels. And why sourdough? Well, sourdough means you're using wild yeast rather than the uh, other, the yeast that you can buy so conveniently in the store that's so fast acting. The sourdough yeast takes a long time, but it offers a more, in my understanding, a more complete conversion of the the grains and the wheats into more digestible forms and it uh, the character of the bread tastes different too as well that's what we're going to be experimenting with and but one of the things uh, my wife and I are both big bagel fans so I thought even though I can buy bagels quite inexpensively as you've seen in my bread store videos I've decided I want to make my own bagels and I'm going to make them in the complete method of using uh, sourdough with a long rise and then boiling them and then cooking them. So I'm going to try to do the full, uh, the full process. And um, the word bagels is kind of a corruption of the word circle uh, or stirrup. I think it's actually stirrup, which we're in a circular form but as a bread form, a lot of us think of bagels being Jewish, and certainly they were, uh, you could say maybe primarily introduced into the United States uh, uh, by Jewish people, certainly in New York and different areas, but they actually had their origin as a bread made for a royalty, and the idea was that this bread was shaped like the stirrups on his that he had on his saddle for his horses, so he must have been a quite a, quite a uh, horseman that he had bread made to remind him of his riding. So diastol diastatic malt powder, and we'll have videos coming up using it, hopefully today or tomorrow, or the next day.